Woohoo! I am tired. It has been a long day. I played with Pleasant this morning. I cleaned the stalls. I cleaned the water tanks. I cleaned the horses' pens that are attached to their stalls. Did the arena. And now I just have one thing left to do today. And that is share this with you. Hello my equestrian friends, it's me Lisa the Budget Equestrian. Welcome back to today's video. And I know that I told you I was going to share my time-saving tacking up tips with you. And that's coming, I promise. But this came today and I was so excited. I really wanted to show it to you. So this is what today's video is all about. Now you might be wondering what this is. And I don't know if you can see in the box. It says it is a hay ball feeder. I got this from Jeffers. They had asked if I would do a couple of reviews on some products and of course I'm gonna say yes. I love Jeffers. So this is one of the other things that they sent me. Yesterday's video was the Lamy Cell half pad in black that I got from Jeffers. Well, this is something else I got from Jeffers. So it's almost like I'm having an unboxing weekend because I've got some really neat things that I want to share with you. So that's what I'm gonna do today. So let's open this up and look at it. <laughs> that is pretty awesome. So this is a hay ball feeder and it's made by Burlingham Sports. Now Burlingham Sports has a lot of really awesome things. They make really awesome looking horse jumps. And if I were wealthy, I would buy a whole bunch of them from them. But unfortunately I can't afford that. So I will be very happy to try out this hay ball feeder. And what you do is you fill the hay ball with hay and then you put it out with your horse. This will hold six and a half pounds of hay and it's a toy, so it keeps them busy. It's also like a slow feeder, so they can get to the hay, they can't eat it all at once. So this should be really fun to play with and see how the horses like it. Now, some of the reviews that I read on the hay ball feeder is that it works best with chopped hay, but I don't think my horses are gonna be too enticed with just Timothy hay. So I have some alfalfa here, and that is what I'm going to fill the hay ball with. So let's fill up the hay ball feeder, see how easy it is to fill, and then we'll go play with it with Pleasant. And alfalfa hay can be a little bit stemmy, so I am gonna put my gloves on because I hate getting hay slivers. So this will protect my hands from any hay slivers that might happen. And I'm gonna put the lid over here so I don't lose it. Okay, I'm probably gonna make a mess of this. So, ooh, a scissors. What happened to my scissors? Well, it's already falling apart. Not the hay feeder, the hay. I don't know about your horses, but my horses love the little flakes of the alfalfa. Not so much the stemmy stuff. But they don't get alfalfa all the time. So this is totally gonna be a treat. I have to say it is really easy to fill. I'm just kind of smushing it towards the openings. I 
Okay, that is pretty close to being full. So let's close it up. And now we'll go take it out and see what Pleasant thinks of this hay ball. Well, he lost interest in me real quick. Well, he's definitely having fun with it, and he definitely likes the alfalfa in there. So the Burlingham Slow Feeder Hay Ball, it's made in the USA. It has two inch holes to prevent waste, and Basically, from their description on their website, it says it's an innovative way to feed your horse its daily forage intake. It simulates a natural grazing position and is suitable for indoors or outdoors for horses, ponies, goats, and sheep. And he seems to be having a good time with this. This is pretty awesome. I really didn't know how he was going to play with it, but he seems to be enjoying it. All right, so the hay ball feeder was a complete success with Pleasant. So since I gave Pleasant a turn with it, now I think it's time to give Frisbee a turn and see how he likes it. What do you think? Let's let Frisbee play with it for a minute and see what happens. And if either one of my horses is gonna find the easiest way to make this thing work simply by rolling it and getting the hay out, it's gonna be Frisbee because he loves to play with different things and this is actually awesome for him. He tends to get bored easily, so having something like this in his pasture is definitely gonna give him something to do, keep his mind working. And not only is it a boredom buster, but it's actually a nice way to feed him slowly and give him something to do at the same time. So this thing is pretty awesome, I have to say. All right, so that is the hay ball feeder from Burlingham Sports. Overall, I think this thing is pretty awesome. I'm so excited that Jeffers sent this to me. I'm speechless, actually. That doesn't happen very often, but I really like how this feeder encourages play. It mimics grazing and it's a slow feeder, so I don't have to worry about my horses getting too much hay. It has the recessed holes, so it's not gonna get dirt and dust into the feeder itself. And it's just something really exciting to have to be able to give to my horses and let them have a little bit of fun. I'm thinking I'm gonna to have to get another one of those because it's pretty awesome and the horses are really having a good time with it. And I promise I'm really going to be getting my tacking up faster tips out to you very soon. 
like I said in the beginning of this video, I was just so excited that this came today that I was like, I have to stop everything and do this video because I really wanted to see how my horses would react to this. Honestly, I didn't think they would react this favorably to it, but they surprised me. So if your horse has a tendency to get bored or you want to give him a toy or something to play with out in his pasture while he's alone during the day, this hay ball feeder might be just what you're looking for. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can watch all my other product reviews, DIY projects, and horse related videos showing you how to make the most of the time that you have with your horse. Again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.